two foot by four foot, studs every 16 inches on center. On the back side, there's an electrical raceway at the top of every panel, and an electrical raceway every 16 inches on center. One here, and one here, and then at the end where the panels butt, there will be an electrical raceway. And at this end, there'll also be an electrical raceway. So like the studs, every 16 inches on center, you can see these lines right here are every 16 inch on center. And that shows you where the electrical raceways are. Now there's an electrical raceway here and going horizontally. So this bullseye, this bullseye right here, is an intersection of the panels, and that's where the two electrical raceways meet. So pulling wires after the wall is up is super easy, and well, as far as anything, it's kind of fun to do. But let me show you those indication lines, that indication line, and this indication line, that's where the electrical raceways, and then at the very top, of the panel right here is electrical raceways. So when we put the two panels together, we have alignment notches. And you can see the alignment notch right here and there. So you can't misstack these. You can only stack them when the panels line up and they seat together. So now your, your studs are straight, your electric raceways are true, and you can see where it is. Now the back side of the panel where the stud is, this is a rib stud. Now let me tell you a little bit about those design features. This is a stud before it is molded into the panel. You can see on this side, this is the glue surface. It is the three-dimensional texture. It is the dovetails. The glue wraps itself around there and locks into place and holds this firmly to the concrete wall. The open truss design, the way, why this is all webbed and open, is so we have very little thermal transfer, if any, through even the plastic. The plastic doesn't transfer. The insulation doesn't transfer. When it's molded into place, it looks like this, with all the other frivolous insulation taken away. That's basically our stud. And when we glue it to a concrete lock wall, You can see how the glue wraps around and embeds the, the stud directly to the concrete and holds it in place. And then the screws go into the, into the plastic stud itself. <laughs>